I'm inspired by so many things in my work. Could be the sunset, flipping through a magazine, Pinterest, definitely other artists. So I was going through the anthropology website and I saw this wall tapestry and I was struck by the color and the style of it. I could probably just copy that tapestry, but rather than copy it, I decided to just be inspired by it. While this style of mirror wouldn't be my typical choice, I loved the traditional lines and motifs and I knew that I could recreate that anthropology look on this mirror. My friend Ray is an artist. His work is incredible, and he's a self-proclaimed copycat. When I first saw Ray's art, I was blown away. I commissioned a painting for JR for a birthday present. Ray has traveled the world, inspired by the great paintings of old masters, traveling to museums to study technique. My mirror is from about the 1920s. It had a deep cherry stain on it and has beautiful traditional details. You'll find that urn shape, the floral and scroll motifs used over and over again all throughout art in history and across many cultures. You, do, you said just what I do. I get inspired by other artists. Some people say they get inspired by a landscape or this or that, but I get inspired by other art. A base coat of faded burlap was the foundation for my painting. Even though Debbie's DIY clay-based chalk paint will easily wipe away from the glass if I were to get excess on that mirror, I covered my mirror with paper so that, well, so that I don't have to look at myself from this very unflattering, un-Debbie-like camera angle. All over Europe, I've gone to the Uffizi and to the Louvre and uh, all over Italy and, and Germany, uh, really where I get my inspiration. When I was a student in college and even in high school art classes, we had to choose a master painter and we had to copy their style. Uh -huh. so really but that's how we learned exactly. different you, techniques. Do you realize how many artists learned that way? I'm sure. That, that was part of being an artist in the, the, the 1700s and 1800s, is go to Paris and copy the old masters. Next, I'll add my inspiration colors. As I pull colors, I'm looking to the tapestry for inspiration. These richly pigmented DIY colors will be mixed with the faded burlap and each other to make a cohesive tonal palette. When I was little, in the TV guide, there would be an advertisement for like to become a famous artist <laughs> and you sign up for this correspondence course. Well, you wanna hear my story? Yes. That's what I did. I'm a graduate of the famous artist school of Westport, Connecticut. Draw me a little face on the inside of a matchbook and I drew it and sent it in. And they sent a rep out to my house and uh, told me that she didn't know if I had what it took, but she'd sign me up anyway. It's the old negative sales approach. There's nothing more lucrative than a starving artist, <laughs> right? <That's laughs> right. That I want to get you. <laughs> I'm using Debbie's DIY Faded Burlap, Queen Bee, Cowgirl Coral, Aviary, Tarnished Pearl, Black Velvet, and Chocolate, and Blue Iris. As I examined the Inspiration Anthropology Tapestry, I found that I could identify some similar elements on my mirror frame and reproduce those color patterns that I'm seeing in the tapestry. This was such fun. I looked to the tapestry, then painted the mirror frame with similar colors, mixing them with each other and the faded burlap. I wanted the colors to be toned down soft and muted. And the cool thing is I can repaint and blend over the paint even after it dries the next day just by adding a little water.
So what got you doing stuff like this? The old masters? Yes. This is just something that comes up all the time, like in, in our, you know, as an artist or a furniture artist yeah. or whatever you do. Yeah. What is copying and what is inspiration? So why is this not copying? Well, because I clearly define it as a um, copy of a master, and you'll notice that the master's name is on there. That's right. And it's signed. Right. right. You would never try to pass this off oh, no, as no. an original. Can you see? <laughs> yeah. Well, I noticed on the well on Jr's painting that yes. we had done, you had a whole description of who it is. Exactly. And, yeah. You have to do that. Yeah, for sure. That's that's only courtesy. That's all. That's admiration. That's yeah. What it is. Yeah. And what I'm doing is trying to uh, uh, work out how they did their technique. Ray is very thorough and diligent in his research, and he clearly described the subject of the painting that I had done for JR. Also that it's a copy of the original master. tone down the colors even more, I'm adding a wash from just a muddy mixture of all of the blended paints that are on my palette. The next day I continued to add even more layers and build up that beautiful depth and tone on my mirror frame. Wash away the pain. Ray, even though you did this, you can't capture the heart of this artist right. in your painting. This heart is yours. Yes. When the paint is completely dry, I apply Debbie's DIY Clear Wax with my Paint Pixie Little C. Then I buff it to a soft sheen with the Paint Pixie Buffy. Well, it makes for an interesting life, doesn't it? Doesn't it? It really does. It does. I mean, to get to do what you love and, yeah. and get paid to do it, it's and nothing. You, you put your pieces in antique frames. You gotta. That's why, that's that another thing it. that I love yeah. about what you do. Yeah. Is you don't, you don't take it to Michael's and get them framed. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the thing. We're all inspired by others. The same techniques and subjects have been interpreted over and over again throughout the ages. But when we're directly impacted by a piece that was created by someone else, it's always good to be like Ray. Share the story of your piece and the inspiration behind it. You can find all of the products that I used in our shop in Medina, New York, or on our website, ellenjgoods.com. You know Ray just told me that he painted your portrait with your Siamese cats, and I was almost ready to ask him, was Andrea nude? No. And he, then he went on to say how you wore that Paris oh, couture I got that, gown. I got that portrait in here. If I could paint anything for you now, what would you have him paint? And don't say the living room walls. No, no, no. <laughs>